Okay, so we just took apart the 76 inch stroke, uh, six inch diameter hydraulic, 3000 PSI hydraulic ram. And uh, it had uh, a couple quarts of hydraulic fluid in it. And um, it's got this spacer in it, which we're probably going to reuse. Uh, the plan right now is to cut the cylinder apart and um, or cut the cylinder off and then remanufacture one end of it so that we can put this second piston on here um, so that becomes the rodless piston system. Cap the cylinder out to three quarter MPT because it was uh, O-ring straight thread so that we can put uh, air equip fittings on it. I think we're going to want the steeler. On the uh, cutoff saw, after about an hour and a half, we're able to uh, cut the three inch cylinder off. Now, here's the stub that we're going to turn down and add the other cylinder half to to make it a rodless cylinder. We've got the, uh, this thing's all made up. we got cylinder seals on both ends. Factory end is going in first. Push energy discharge device. Push on. Same thing as Reason had on his. So this goes inside the cylinder. This shoulder meets up against the uh, old ram seal. And then Reason's going to weld that on. That ramps up and comes out straight. And so it looks like we're going to be at about a one inch exit hole for this test. Okay, so we have nitrogen tanks going into a small pony bottle, in this case, and then uh, that goes into the valve, which is normally closed in this direction through to the, to the squirt gun. Then pilot air is coming from the shop, 24 volt power supply, so those two batteries. That actuates the ball valve. And then when we charge the thing up with pressure, press go, water go, or air goes from the little pony tank through the line, pressurizes the rod of the cylinder, and squirts all the water under our neighbor's houses. Three, two, one.